Hello and welcome to another Honeywell Discover Learning video. In this tutorial, we'll explain how to configure events and triggers on the HDCS software. Open HDCS. Go to the main menu by clicking on the plus sign at the top. Under settings section, go to device config. At the left, select the recorder from the list. Click on Event option and then on Video Detect for setting events when motion is detected. Select the channel that will detect the event and activate the checkbox called Enable. Set a time schedule with the button set at the right of the Arm Disarm period. Set the sensitivity and then set the anti dither anti dither tells the system to keep recording for an unspecified amount of time after the event has ended. Select the channel you want to record. By default, the record channel is the same of the channel that triggers the motion. However, it can be adjusted according to needs. Set the delay time. This is the time that the unit will wait before it starts recording after the event has been detected. If you would like an output to be activated, enable alarm output as well as the output and send its delay time. If you would like a PTC camera to be activated, activate the PTC checkbox, then click on the set button and next select the PTC channel and its preset. If you would like a tour be activated, activate the tour checkbox and select the channels for the tour. If you would like the recorder to take snapshots, activate the snapshot checkbox and select the channels that will take the snapshots. The upload to cloud option allows to send the notifications to the cloud only for units that are Max Pro Cloud compatible. If you want to send an email, activate the checkbox Send Email. The same applies for Message and Buzzer. And the alarm upload is for setting the notifications to the HomeView Touch app. The option Copy Current Configuration allows to get the same setting parameters in the channels that you select on the copy list. The Video Loss option is for setting triggers if the camera loses connection. And the camera masking is for when the scene change suddenly and radically. For these two last tabs, the same settings apply. The Alarm I.O. tab allows to set the parameters for inputs and outputs with the same settings of video detection apply for it. Finally, the Abnormality tab sets alarms and allows to set triggers on outputs when something abnormal occurs. Ready! You have configured triggers and procedures of the recorder with the HTCS software. Explore our training and discover your potential. Go to HoneyWellDiscoverTraining.com